In this video, I will try to solve the trick integral found in worksheet question number two. First, let's observe that this is of the form square root of x squared minus a squared. So if you look at the table that is given to you on trick substitution, a correct substitution will be x equal to a secant theta. But because a squared is 16, we can replace a by 4. So an appropriate substitution for this integral is x equals to 4 secant theta. So take a minute to ask yourself what is the next thing you need to do. That's right. You need to find out what dx is in terms of theta and that you get from differentiating your x equals to 4 secant theta. If you differentiate that, you get 4 secant theta tangent theta d theta. The next thing you want to do is to simplify what's in the square root. It is guaranteed that if your substitution is correct, the square root would disappear. So let's see. This, it's gonna be, you gotta be really careful in how you do it here. That's gonna be 16 secant squared theta minus 16. If I factor out the 16, I will get 16 secant squared theta minus one. But secant squared theta minus one is a tangent square in disguise. So that's going to be and we see why that square root disappear now. So putting all these together, the integral will become this integral okay notice there are some cancellation and that simplifies to that integral so this becomes an integral in 8.3 trick integral the best way to solve this trick integral is to use this trigonometric function because we know the antiderivative of this and we know the antiderivative of that. So the integral now becomes four times of tangent theta minus theta plus c. In order to um, change theta back into x,
we dig out the right triangle which we got from secant theta equals x over 4. If secant of theta is x over 4, cosine of theta is 4 over x. Knowing that cosine is adjacent over the hypotenuse, we can actually label the triangle triangle with 4 and x on the adjacent and on the hypotenuse. Using Pythagoras theorem, we know what that is. So now we can easily find out the tangent because the tangent is really the opposite over the hypotenuse. So now our answer is just 4 with tangent theta being replaced. But what about theta? Well, theta, you can actually use this to invert or use that to invert to give you secant. I prefer cosine, so my theta is arc cosine of 4 over x. Simplify things a little bit, you get the final answer, the final simplified answer that looks like this. That is your antiderivative.